Charlotte Crosby has hit out at, calling her rude and vile and a cruel inst. The former Geordie Shore star, 30, said she couldn't hold her tongue any longer and voiced her opinion on the Towie star, 40, after watching her interview unfold on Piers Morgan's Life Stories Live. Taking to her Instagram as the show aired on ITV, she took a picture of Gemma during the interview and shared her scathing, unexpected comments about the star alongside it. The Instagram post has since been deleted. Charlotte wrote, I can't hold my tongue any this women is the most rudest vilest women I've been in the same airspace of. Sick, and she gets this kind of show that Sir Tom was on in every legend under the sun. I'm sorry but. This needs to be said now. This women is vile. Sick, what had this girl done on TV but degrade everyone and act like she's the dog's bee? I have first hand witnessed her absolute rudeness. It's unclear what, if anything, transpired between the pair before Charlotte's random outburst. We have contacted both their reps for comment. Fans have defended Gemma on Twitter after noticing Charlotte had hit out at her online. One wrote, Charlotte Crosby, knowing the effects of online trolling, goes online and talks ST about Gemma Collins and has the audacity to call Gemma Collins the rudest person to live when Charlotte Crosby herself lit a hashtag be kinds comes to mind. Considering what we've seen Charlotte Crosby get up to on TV compared to Gemma. Another commented, Charlotte's fiery comments come after Gemma talked about suffering horrific online abuse, including receiving death threats, since she started out on TOWIE in 2011. The outwardly confident TV personality opened up about how she has been affected by cruel. Gemma told Pierce during the interview, it's hard to watch. You don't forget it but, that's the downside to being a lot more comfortable now in my own skin. She also opened up to GMB's peers about her suicidal thoughts after on-off boyfriend James Sargent had a drug overdose at the end of breaking down in tears, Gemma said, for anyone that thinks about taking drugs or trying it for just one night, you can get really addicted. I was really happy with James and we did get on, but the drugs changed him as a person, and I fought every day for three years to get him well, she saw. She continued, I think when my relationship broke down with Ark, that if I just thought, I don't want to be here anymore. I can't take it. Christmas was an I saved his life three times. I had this insatiable love for him. I never wanted to. Gemma also talked about her miscarriage she suffered when James was the father, and she said she definitely would have kept the. There was a lot of love there, but the relationship turned very sour because of the drugs. She rem If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24 7 on 116 120. Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local.